So you wanna land a new cybersecurity job. Well, I've got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is that the cybersecurity professional organization, ISC Squared, estimated that there's a current gap of 3.4 million cybersecurity experts in the market in 2022. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! The bad news is that your resume is the first gate that you have to pass in order to land your dream job. That means that your resume has to be on point. To make matters worse, the employment site Indeed.com did a study and found that the hiring manager spends on average six to seven seconds reading your resume before they move on. That means that you have to impress that hiring manager in the time that it takes them to take a delicious morning sip of coffee. Now, you might be thinking that you don't have any professional experience to put on your resume, or there's nothing really all that interesting about you. Don't think that or you're not really sure where to start. Well, don't worry about it because I got you covered. In this video today, I'm gonna show you how to land your dream job by updating your resume. How do I know this is going to help you? Because I'm gonna show you my resume from college that helped me land my first job, which also happened to be my dream job. I'm Jason Reppold with Teach Me Cyber. I'm also a Chief Information Security Officer. That means in order for you to land a job, I'm looking at your resume. In fact, I've looked at over a thousand resumes throughout my career, so I have a good inclination of what's good and what's not. The best resumes that I saw hooked me early and made me wanna stick around to read more to learn about your story. From all the resumes that I saw, I found three common things that were unique to the best resumes. And today, I'm gonna tell you what those are. And to help you even further, I'm gonna give you some bonus tips to separate your resume from the pack to really stand out. And for those that stick around to the end, I'll give you some instructions to reach out to me so that you can have the opportunity to get a free resume review. All right, let's dig in. Tip number one is to make it easy to read. This includes two key things. First is the format. Make it super digestible so that it's easy to pull out the most important information that's gonna sell your case for the hiring manager. And number two is to make sure there are no grammatical errors and no spelling errors. This seems super basic and it is, but keep in mind that a hiring manager that's looking at your resume, it's very much so like looking through a clear pane of glass. And every grammatical issue or every misspelling there is, is a small smudge on that glass. And so if there are too many in there, it becomes impossible to read and they will stop. Now let me pull up my resume from college. You can see here that it's fairly basic, but it's very well organized so that it's clear what the objective are. I know what the education is. I have classes there, skills, projects, and experience. There's not a lot of information in here, but it's enough that it can really get the point across. There's not a crazy amount of information in there because I didn't have a career at that point but it was clearly organized so that the hiring manager at that time could pick out the most important things very quickly. And again, while this seems super basic, it really shows your ability to communicate to that hiring manager. And when it comes to cybersecurity, communication, that soft skill, is one of the rarest skills that you can start to build today. And I guarantee you, it's going to separate you from the rest of the pack. Okay, time for your first bonus tip. This is to use numbers wherever you can in your resume. It's going to really bolster the impact that you're going to have for that hiring manager. Now, this might seem difficult at first because you probably don't have a lot of experience or things that you can apply a number to, but I promise you, if you look hard enough, you will find something. If we look back at my college resume, we can see a few spots that I was able to insert some numbers. The first was when I was an intern at Xerox, where I managed and led a web portal that connected 150 countries together. So that's what I said. The second one was where I was a resident advisor in my college. And this is the most impactful one because I was really able to show the impact that I was having, where I was running a floor of 65 residents and I was mentoring a staff of 16 other RAs. So just give it a little bit of thought and you'll find something that you can add in there. Okay, on to hack number two. This is to highlight the various courses, classes, or workshops that you have taken specifically on cybersecurity. Now, the reason this is important is because you may not have a lot of professional experience at this time, so you have to highlight what you've been learning. So if you've taken a college class, list it. 
If you've taken an online course, list it. If you've participated in a workshop, list it. If we flip back to my resume from college, you can see that I spend a lot of real estate talking about the classes that I took that are going to be relevant to cybersecurity. So I have security classes, I have systems administration classes, and I did a minor in criminal justice because at the time I thought I wanted to go and be an FBI agent. So I listed this as well, just to show that I was looking at other areas outside of just the technical nature of computer security. Okay, time for another bonus hack here. If you're just starting out and you're not gonna have a lot of professional experience, look to some of your extracurricular activities or how you're spending some of your free time that might be a cool thing for the hiring manager to know that might show that, hey, you're stretching yourself, you're trying to learn new things, or you're just really filling your time in a productive way. Sometimes this might be some sports or athletics that you're doing in your spare time. In other cases, it could be something a little bit nerdier. For me, when I landed my first security internship, I had that I speed solved Rubik's cubes on my resume. The first question that the hiring manager asked was, hey, what's this about the speed cubing? Well, I used to do that in 41 seconds. Uh, I think I lost it now. Okay, time for resume hack number three. Show me your projects. How are you spending that free time to learn about cybersecurity? This is especially important early on in your career because again, you're not gonna have a lot of professional experience, so it's on you to figure out how are you going to learn on your own time. Now, these projects give a glimpse into what your interests are, what your passions are, and just how hard you're willing to work to learn something and stretch yourself. These projects don't need to be crazy. I'm not looking for the Mona Lisa of a cybersecurity project. I'm just looking to see what are you doing to try new things. And don't worry about if it was a complete failure. That's actually a great thing because it shows that you're willing to experiment and learn something. Now you can see from my resume that I had two projects listed. I cheat a little bit because these were projects that I was doing as part of my classes anyway, but I was gonna take the easy win here. The first was around a honeypot. This was specifically about setting up a system that was intentionally vulnerable and then we could monitor for attacks. The second one was around these attack and defend experiments. This is partially like the capture the flag events now where you try to hack into systems, except in this case, we were setting up those systems, trying to secure them, and then we would intentionally try to hack into them. So again, this doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just get it out there and take the time now, create a GitHub repo and just put some information up there. If you have some coding projects, pop them up there. I've seen resumes there. I've seen different papers that people have written. And these things help give the hiring manager better glimpse into what your capabilities are. This is also an opportunity to show how you communicate, especially if you're putting up example reports that you may have written in a class. Take the opportunity now too, to update your LinkedIn profile. I am a huge fan of LinkedIn because it allows you to give yourself a brand early in your career before you have any experience. So get involved, network, talk to people, comment on their posts. This is a perfect time to get started so that you can get ahead in your career. Now, I promised you a way to get a free resume review. So first step is comment on this video and tell me what you learned and then head on over to LinkedIn and connect with me. When you connect with me, send me a message and ask me to review your resume. And I'm gonna ask you to just tell me that you're going to reshare the post that I have on LinkedIn so that you can help others learn more about cybersecurity. If you show me the effort, I'll take the effort for you. The next step is on you. You have all the information you need to make a killer resume. So go get that updated and go land your dream job. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.